channel so today I have actually a thrift haul try on for you guys so I'm very excited um, for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Louisa I post thrift content and hair content so that will be coming up soon I promise um, so I actually went to thrift city on Sunday which is my go-to thrift store and you guys will be seeing a haul on that next week um, while I was there, the girl was telling me like, hey, like, what are your plans for today? Because I usually chatted up with the girls there. They're all super nice and I go in every week so they pretty much know me now. And she was like, hey, well, I have a coupon for this thrift store like down the street and you should check it out. And it was like a 50% off coupon off my whole purchase. So I was like, sure, why not? You know, like Thrift City is my go-to out in Fresno. So I was like, why not try this new thrift store? I was already in the area since I'm not from Fresno, so I dropped by and oh my god guys. When I say this thrift store, like when you walk in, it literally looks kind of small, but then like you turn and it's so huge. So this thrift store is huge. They had tons of inventory, well clothing wise at least. Their home decor was very, um, like not so much, but their clothing was like poppin' poppin'. So I went straight to the dresses and that's usually where they keep like the jumpsuits and stuff. Like every time I go to a thrift store. So I figured, oh, sorry, I get out of breath really fast because I'm like so huge already. Seven months, so I'm like, okay. So I went to the dresses first and I didn't get to film a lot in there. I did film like small clips because I was gonna make a TikTok but I did not think it was going to be like YouTube worthy, but I did find some gems. So I'm going to show you guys and I am going to style some of the pieces that did fit me. So um, let's start off with those. So I found this two piece set. This is a skirt. It was really pretty. I liked like the black with green kind of vibe. I felt like it was very, um, I don't know, it gave me kind of grunge vibes when I pictured myself styling this, which you will see. Um, I styled it with like a t-shirt and like my chunky Jaden Max Doc Martens. And I just love the cut on it and like the ruffle, like scallop trimming at the bottom and how it's like a teardet kind of like style. So it has like two layers. So I thought that was really, really pretty. And it also came with the matching top, which the matching top was actually very beautiful as well. I didn't get to style the top just because I wasn't really feeling it. Obviously skirt with the top, I felt like it was a little much, but this would be very beautiful just styling it on its own. I loved the little like um, cap sleeve with like the ruffle on it, that it was very beautiful. And the cut it was just really nice. The next piece is this little Y2K skirt. I'm not really into like the Y2K style. My style is a little bit more vintage, but this reminded me like total like 90s, like 2000s vibe. And it was like this skirt. And believe it or not, it looks super small. And it has like, it looks super small. But when I tried it on, it, it's very stretchy. It has all the floral detailing with like the beading throughout and like the little scallop trimming right here down in the middle like I thought that was so beautiful so that was like definitely a must pick up this next piece I loved so much because anything gingham like I love gingham especially with like any like details with like lace on it and this like cowgirl skirt was everything it's pretty big honestly but i didn't mind it just because i'm like i said i'm super pregnant and it is a vintage skirt as you can tell by the tag and it has even a stretchier waistband so this can definitely fit many sizes and i just loved just everything about this skirt so i thought it was very beautiful next piece is i picked up this white button up and oh my god it's to die for these beautiful like embroidery butterflies on the chest area were like i just i wasn't even looking at the tops i was still in the dress section and i peeked like behind me and i saw the butterfly sticking out and i just had to pick it up it has a tapered waistband which is perfect because you can easily tuck it in underneath your shirt or like underneath your bra or like just even tuck it in like fold it under and it's gonna hold up if you want it a little bit more cropped so i loved that about it 
and I paired that top actually with these really funky pants right now these are like all I've been thrifting honestly like these are so comfy and especially like being pregnant like I've said um buying jeans and like denim is just not ideal for me to do because I'm not going to be able to fit in them after I'm pregnant and these are perfect because they're stretchy so I can wear them now and I can wear them afterwards. So that's a little tip for my pregnant gal, do not spend money on jeans, buy yourself some comfy pants, some funky pants and I just loved the colorway on those and I just pictured this outfit a little bit more chill with some sandals, a little bit more summery. Next I found these beautiful velvet pants. And I like that the front is like it doesn't show like the waistband so it's kind of just a straight waistband and then the back is stretchy. So this is a little bit more of a comfy pants, they're a little bit more luxurious so you can dress these up, dress them down and the perk on these is of course that they have pockets so that's always amazing and I paired it with this other top that I picked up. This was right next to the butterfly top and it's actually this vintage white button up and it has, it's very mesh, very see-through and it has all these star details on it. I loved it. I like, you don't see a lot of star print but when you do, like it's usually really ugly and I actually kind of find, found this really cute and like I said, paired it with like the black velvet pants, very luxurious, chill vibe, throw on some gold jewelry and you got yourself a very casual but very luxurious kind of vibe. Kind of gave me like Bad Bunny vibes. Another piece that I actually picked up is this piece. It's actually new with tags. It's a vintage um, like jumpsuit. And it's like this tealy green color. And honestly, like looking at it, I was like, oh, this is pretty cute. You know, like let me see if I could style it. And when I put it on, I really, I did like it. As you can see, I paired it with my white boots and I thought it was very cute, but I would never wear this out. I feel like me in a jumpsuit being pregnant, I look like a freaking penguin. So I cannot, I, I just would never do it again. I am wearing a jumpsuit right now, but I'm at home and it's a velour jumpsuit. So I'm comfy and I'm not going anywhere. So it's fine to look like a penguin at home. <laughs> and the next piece I picked up is this black, um, I wouldn't call it a mini dress because it's not super short, but it's right above the knee and it has these orange and like auburn flowers like throughout. And when I saw this piece, I instantly fell in love with it. I And it, it is vintage, which I love. I instantly thought of my friend Danielle and I was like, I'm gonna grunge this up for my girlfriend Danielle. I threw on my chunky docks with my cute little black hat and it was a whole freaking vibe. Like I loved the way I styled this, not to toot my own horn, but I thought it was super cute and yeah. Next piece is these pants. They look very tiny up the top, but trust me when I say these babies stretch because they stretch girlfriend and they have like this outer seam detail down the front of the leg and it goes into like a nice little flare leg nothing crazy very like minimal and I loved how cute these were like just a pop of color and you could rock those during spring and summer and I paired it with this like sherbet like funky top that I also picked up I loved everything about this top from the like the flowiness of it to the cowl neck to the sleeves like everything about it and the colors were just so vibrant and I knew they would look so cute with those pink bottoms so I had to pick that up another piece that I did pick up is another dress this is a little bit more grungy also um, it's a black maxi dress and it has white and paisley floral throughout very cute um, it has a collar and it's buttoned up down the middle. I liked, really liked the style of this and I wanted to style it with my chunky Doc Martens and I thought that was a really cute um, look, so I did that as well. Another piece is this micro floral um, dress. When I saw this, I thought it was um, vintage because a lot of vintage dresses are made with this type of material, that like crinkly look. And I looked at the tag and it was actually Zara, which I was very, very, very surprised because I didn't know Zara made pieces like this. And right here down the middle, it actually has two like, I don't know, like, how would you explain, like two, um, what is it called? 
it just has like these two lines in the middle where it like stretches a little bit more so i guess like extra fabric but it was cool because like i kind of like scrunched it up and put a belt on there but i did like the micro floral look and i like that it's lightweight and breathable so it's perfect for spring and i also paired that with my white little go-go boots okay and then this piece is by far my favorite piece that i picked up i almost passed through it and then i saw like the back of it peeking through and it's this beautiful lace like dress and it's it's very see-through very sh like mesh and has this beautiful peplum like ruffle at the bottom but this back detail like look at this back detail it is so freaking beautiful oh i love everything about it and it is vintage the best part is that it stretches like crazy so i was able to try this on for you guys and i paired it with my paisley boots as you can see and i thought it was just like a whole vibe and i put my hair up because i didn't want to take attention away from the back of the dress so i thought that was very cute as well now for the pieces that didn't fit me, I was super sad that I couldn't style these pants for you guys, but as you can see, they look like basic like little velvet pants. They actually have like a crinkle like kind of material, like more of like a sheen to them, like a black sheen. They're super cute. They're actually low rise, I want to say, more like a low mid rise. And these, I was really sad that I didn't get trammed, not because they didn't fit my belly, they just didn't fit my butt, like my butt was like not having it i did not want to go past my butt but look at this leg detail i'm seriously obsessed like all the beading on here is so beautiful and i just had to pick these up i thought they were so cool and funky and i loved everything about them another pair that i totally fell in love with these are a little bit out of my comfort style i guess you could say but I thought they were cute when I saw them. I first thought that maybe they could be Dickies because Dickies has striped overalls like this. But they're actually Forever 21, which, mind you, like, I'm very, like, I don't ever, ever, ever purchase fast fashion at the thrift store just because I know it's either not going to last me or it's just not worth it for me to buy it because I'm trying to, like, make my wardrobe a little bit more, like, long term like pieces that i can keep for a long time but this denim didn't feel too horrible honestly and for the price i was not complaining i think i ended up getting these for four bucks i thought they were super cool and i didn't get to try these on because like i said they didn't fit me so that wasn't that on those um this piece i don't know why i didn't try it on to be honest i think maybe it was still in the dryer but it's this 100 percent Oh no, it's 80%, sorry, 80% leather and 20% rayon, and it's this beautiful, like, half-sleeve, like, like, I guess you could say jacket, but look how beautiful that is. It has the crochet um, detailing at the bottom, and obviously as the threading, I thought it was really pretty in the piece of back. It's a super funky piece, love that. I also did pick up another jumpsuit. This one didn't fit me either. Of course, it wouldn't have. It's like a freaking, an extra, extra small. But I loved like this little bohemian look. And pieces like this, I feel, are really fun to style, especially with like the wide leg. Um, just because they give you kind of like a 70s kind of like style. So I really liked those. Then I also picked up two pairs of these trousers. I loved everything about these. And the best part was that they were silk. So... I got to pick up these silk high-waisted trousers, vintage of course, and they have like a big statement button up in the front, and they're checkered print. Very small checkered print, but I thought it was very cute, and I feel like checkered print's gonna come back, to be honest with you. Another piece that I picked up, I'm so stupid because I washed all this clothes before the video, and they're actually wool, and I didn't see, because I'm an idiot. And they are vintage, so they did shrink. So these are going to be a little bit more of a cropped leg, but I loved these vintage high-waisted trousers. They have like that gold button detail on the side, and they're actually gold specked throughout. It has pockets, but look at these le <laughs> the leg. The freaking bottom part is like, sticking out because I'm a dummy and washed them and dried them. 
them so <laughs> that was that so guys that was the end of my thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked the try on portion of it i'm gonna continue doing those i just figured you know the pieces that i can style for you guys i'll go ahead and do that for you but i'm really happy with everything that i got i think i spent a total of like 60 dollars um, this thrift store is a little bit more higher price than Thrift City, the normal thrift store I go to. But like I said, I didn't mind it with my 50% off coupon. And here's a little tip secret for you guys. So um, I was talking to the gal up front and she asked me if I was new to like obviously the store and I told her yeah like and she's like yeah like I've never seen you be here before. And she was telling me okay well like on Mondays and Thursdays you can also receive 50% off your whole purchase in the store. So if you guys are in the Central Valley area, Valley Thrift it does have 50% off Monday, Thursdays, and they also do have other deals throughout the week. Excuse me. <laughs> that one's obviously just the best one. And also, when I checked out, she gave me a 75% off coupon that I can use on the 28th of this month. So I'm very excited to use that as well. And I'm sure they do every like coupons here and there. So definitely check out Valley Thrift in Fresno, California. I will be linking down in the description, obviously the location and where you guys can find the thrift store and all the deals that they offer throughout the week. Um, I believe they offer deals Monday through Saturday. I think Sunday is the only day they don't offer deals. But I got lucky because I had the 50% off coupon, which she actually let me keep and she still gave me the 50% off. She told me, you're new, so I'll let you keep your coupon and I'll still give you the 50%. So I still have another coupon that I can use during the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And hopefully this video was not too long for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.